In this video, we're going to see how we can add a two-factor authentication for free to our WordPress website. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, two-factor authentication is a very good way to uh, secure your website. It's not the only way and of course it's not the only thing that you have to do in order to secure your website. You have to always update your files, always update your themes, your plugins, your core uh, WordPress uh, version. You have to do many things in order to not uh, make your site uh, vulnerable to attacks but uh, even if you do it's not a guarantee that you're not going to be hacked. But if you're going to follow all the rules, in most uh, cases, you're uh, pretty secure. You're not 100%, but you're uh, pretty good with that. So let's see what we can do with the two-factor authentication. Uh, first, we're going to, for the plugins and we're going to click Add New. Keep in mind that you also need uh, something to authenticate that this is you that you're doing all of that. So you will need your mobile phone to be with you. And let's search for WordFence. If you don't know WordFence, it's basically a very good plugin for security and it's the most popular one at this time. WordFence. I have already created a video for WordFence and you can see it in my channel. So I'm going to install that. And here I have the WordFence login security as well, and I'm going to install that too. Okay, I'm going to activate now. And once it's activated, the WordFence uh, access here will be showed up. As you can see, now it has here a WordFence menu, and here I'm going to put my email. Okay, and let's click no, and let's click here, let's continue that. And no thanks, I don't want to enter the premium key. So if I hover here, you will see all the options and I have here the login security. And here I'm going to activate that in order to uh, be able to work with login security options. So let's go to WordFence, let's go to login security. And here I have the two-factor authentication. Let's go into settings first and here you can see that it has one administrator user and as you can see enable two-factor authentication for these roles so I can give access to administrators for the two-factor authentication and I can also uh, say that all of those uh, roles will need to uh, verify that uh, they are trying to access the website by going into their email. So. As you can see, require two-factor two authentication for all administrator. You can click here and it means that all of the administrator will have to do that. And if you do that, you have to click then here that says grace period to require two-factor authentication. And this will mean that it will give a little bit of uh, time, some days, that the administrator can go and set up the two-factor authentication. So you will inform them and it, they will also get a notification from here. So I can click here and here it says uh, when I want this to be enabled. So after that date, they will not be able to log in without the two-factor authentication. So I'm going for nine here and here I can send notifications. Now, I cannot do that in this because I don't have any other uh, administrators, but of course, if you do have, you can send the notification for those to be informed. After that, you can set it to allow remembering the device for 30 days. And if it's not enabled, they have to do the extra step every time they're trying to log in. Uh, I would like here to have something to change the 30 days to uh, a week or something, but keep in mind that this is a free plugin. Also, as you can see here, you can set the required two-factor authentication for XML RPC call authentication. If you don't know what this is, basically it uh, allows WordPress to send data over the HTTP. And there are some uh, things that are using that uh, at this time. I think that the plugin uh, uh, Jetpack, as it says here, Jetpack is using it. There are maybe some other plugins that are using it. Uh, someday it will be disabled all at all uh, because it will use the WordPress API to send all the data that it needs. Uh, but in most cases, you will not use this. So you can disable that. So uh, just be caution. 
if you disable that, check your website, check everything that it works. If you're using a mobile phone that has the WordPress app installed, just try and see if it's working. If it's not, then go ahead and uh, uncheck this and it will should, it should work okay. So after that, as you can see, we have the allowed uh, IP address and this IP address can b bypass the two-factor authentication. So if you have a static IP address, you can just put it here and then you will not uh, need to do any other steps. After that, we have the uh, recaptcha, which are not going to use that. And this is all that I have, so let's save that. And as you can see, the save is up here in the settings, it's not down here. So if you're going to search for it, you will find up here. Let's go back to the two-factor authentication and here we have the QR code. So as it says here, the two-factor authentication uh, can work with uh, apps like Google Authenticator, Free, OTP and Otify. And here is the full list, so I can, you can click here. And here, except for the instruction, as you can see here, we will have uh, the apps that you can use. Many of those are available for iOS and Android and you can choose what you want. All of those are working fine with uh, this plugin. Uh, I use uh, Google Authenticator in most cases, so I'm going to close that. And here I'm going to open the Google Authenticator app from my mobile phone and I'm going to scan the code. Once you scan the code, you just have to add the account. So click the add in your mobile phone. Next step is for you to download uh, this recovery codes. It says optional, but uh, for me it's something that you must do in case you lost your mobile phone and you need to gain access to your WordPress website. So save file, yes, save file, and be sure to put that somewhere that you only know where it is. And this is for you to be able to recover the access. So save that. And last step is to put here the number that your mobile phone is giving you. Once you click the add account, it gave you a six digit number. So go ahead and put here uh, for me is this one. Of course, it will change every time. It's not the same. And let's click activate. Once you do that, now we you have the two factor authentication activated. You can also deactivate every time that you want. And in case you lost your files, you can generate new codes for uh, from here. So I'm going now and I'm going to log out. And I'm going to log in again. And now it says the two factor authentication code. Once it says here, you can go uh, over the uh, the question mark to get instructions. So all you have to do now is open again the app that you have downloaded and just click uh, again for the uh, website that you're using in case you're using more than one website and have the number to be put it right here. Uh, sorry, one eight two three two eight. So I'm going to click login and once I do that, I'm now inside my uh, WordPress website. If uh, for some reason you cannot get access from here, you can use one of the codes that you have in your TXT. So that was all. I think it's a very easy thing to do and I think it's something that you need to do in every website that you have. This is something that also the uh, banks are using. Of course, it's not the same uh, feature, not, not the same thing, but it's a two-step authentication just for an extra security. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.